important because this is not just a story about faculty or you. This is a story about our community, okay? our town, our place. This, this borough, this thing we call Kutztown is as important as anything we have here today. And I want you to give a very warm welcome to Mayor Sandy Green. I am really proud to be here today and support you. I am totally against the 50% tax cut that the governor has placed on education. Way out of line, way out of line. Um, we all have budget cuts that we have to look at. The borough of Kutztown as well as this university. But cutting education by 50% is unheard of. Um, I just can't understand why he's not taxing the drilling up in the Marcellus Shale area. That's where we need to, to, you know, to get some of that money. Um, the other thing is, you know, you talk about the postcards that you're sending to your legislators. Actually, when you look at our government in Harrisburg and you look at our house, I think the governor could start there and look at how he could trim his budget up there. We have nine state reps just in Berks County alone. I mean, I think this redistricting and has really hurt Pennsylvania. We have more uh, gov government than, in, than the state of Texas, for crying out loud. I think it's time we start looking at up in Harrisburg, how we can start there, not education. Um, also, students, you really have a voice. It is well heard down in the borough of Kutztown. You have a strong voice. When things need to get done, I always encourage students to stand up and speak. Speak your mind, really, I mean, and don't let it stop. Continue with your state reps, continue with senators, you know, just keep it up, go to Harrisburg, keep, just don't stop. That's all I say, because you have an incredible voice um, in this state. So um, I support you, and whatever I can do to help, please let me know. Thank you. It would be really bad if the mayor got hurt getting off the stage, so I'm, I'm relieved. Okay. Our next speaker is our newly elected state senator from the great county of Berks. Uh, she filled the seat for Mike Opaque. We're back. We can still stay close. When I ran for school board, one of the first things Mike Opaque came and talked to me about was what he basically asked me a question, what can I do to help? And when I ran and I served, I kept that in mind. And I think what we have here is an individual who's gonna carry on that tradition of help, right? Who believes. One of the happiest things I did when they had that election was I went home and I voted. And I did it and I was glad. And I looked at the outcome and it told me something. Right? All the proposals on the other side, well, we know what the result was. Okay? And I'm thrilled, thrilled to have our newly elected state senator, Judy Schwank. Please yeah. warm, give her a warm welcome. Thank you, and thank you to everyone who made the effort to vote, whether you're a student or faculty member or staff member. I know that a lot of my support came from this town, and I'm so pleased for what you did. You really helped to push me over. Thank you. You know, I'm not even official yet. I won't be sworn in until Tuesday. So, but I've landed in the middle of a firestorm, obviously. A budget that has been proposed. And look, I've been following this stuff for a long time. I was an elected official before a county commissioner. I've been an educator. I've worked for Penn State University. So I've followed state budgets pretty closely. This is just unbelievable unbelievable 50 percent cuts to something that is so essential to our future every politician and i'm no different that i've ever heard talks about jobs right we're all in favor of jobs how do we get jobs without a well-educated workforce does that work somewhere somehow the message hasn't gotten through that if you want a better economic climate, it's not just about tax cuts to the corporations. And it's not just about ignoring those corporations like the gas drillers who well could well afford 
to pay their fair share. It's not about protecting them. It's about protecting the very basis of our, the foundation, really, of why why we have state government, why we you know why we want to make sure that we have a fair and safe society. It's about education. And this governor, I'm sorry to say, has said that education doesn't matter anymore. Not only on the higher education level, but you know, you have brothers and sisters or family members, K through 12, the same thing has happened. Cuts that are almost impossible to deal with at this, at this present time. Because most of them have already worked on their budgets. And as you've heard Dr. Vargas say, some of this stuff, they're really going to have to scramble in order to make accommodation for these kinds of cuts. Well, I'm here to tell you that, even though I'm a newbie, you have my support from the standpoint that these cuts cannot stand. And I'll stand with you, and I'll listen to you as you tell me how these things are starting to impact you right from the get-go. How many of you have student loans? You want to pay more. <laughs> You know, I did, I did have experience in education and, I, and I've talked with students, even currently, who've talked to me about the kind of student loans that you're carrying. And I don't understand how, even in this job environment, you're going to graduate and be able to get out there and carry those loans and still afford to build your family, build a career. This, this is just going to make that situation even more intolerable for you. And I, can't, and I just can't stand to see that happen. That's not what I went to state government to be about. So you have my support. You need to keep talking about this. You need to keep telling us. And you need to keep doing well. I want that message to get through too. You have to keep studying. You have to show them that despite everything that's happening, you're, gonna, you're going to excel in your educational careers. You're going to do the very best that you can. Show them the kind of quality education that you're getting in our state system and why it matters. You'll do that best, not only by telling us how you feel about this and you need to keep doing it, but by doing well too. Can I count on you for that? Yeah. Yeah.